creativity is one of the biggest issues that Manchester United suffered with last season. With only one player, the skipper Bruno Fernandes putting in something worth mentioning. In fact, it was not just impactful to Manchester United. It was the best across the whole English Premier League. But as we head into the new season, have we solved this big problem that we've had for a long time? Lack of creativity, depth in terms of options of players who will create chances that could eventually yield goals for us. Welcome to the United of Sport. My name is Webb. This video is to focus on the issue of creativity or depth in our creative department as a club. Welcome to the United of Sport again. Like, share and subscribe as we get proper into it. Now, listen, last season Man United struggled, but there is one player who stood out when it came to creating chances and across the entire English Premier League, Bruno Fernandes had the most chances created of all players in the English Premier League. Bruno Fernandes was uh, ranked number one in terms of chances created. That is 114. Uh, those are including assists, uh, 114. Uh, of course, followed by the Brighton uh, kid, Pascal Gross, Martin Odegaard of Arsenal, third with 112. You can see the difference between him and them. Bokayo Saka of Arsenal, 91. And uh, a few others, Chelsea, uh, Cole Palmer was ranking uh, eighth. Uh, then 10th uh, was Gustavo Hammer and the likes, as you see it there in the list. Now, you can say, honestly, that probably the only one positive thing that there was about Manchester United in terms of attacking was that start there from Bruno. Individually creating many assists and uh, scoring a couple of goals, 10 to be precise, assisting eight times, but creating so many opportunities for guys who failed to bury them for the most part. It's not only... Uh, that, that that shows creativity. It's not only how many chances uh, you, you've created that shows creativity. Even dribbles do show creativity. But look, Manchester United, in terms of list of, uh, of uh, uh, players who completed the top 10, players who completed the most dribbles, Manchester United had no player in the top 10. None at all. Guys, I'm, I'm building a point here. Stay with me. I'm building for you, for you a point of how we lacked options in terms of creating chances last season. No wonder we had a terrible goal, different, uh, goal difference. We are not scoring enough goals. We were conceding so many. Look, Mohamed Kudu stopped with 124. That's the list of top chances created. The, he was number one in the top 10. Uh, Jeremy Doku second with 87. Guimeres, Bruno Guimeres of Newcastle, 72. And all these other players. Now, Manchester United, the player who had the most dribbles in Man United was Alejandro Ganacho tied with Marcus Rashford. They had 48. I'm telling you, the top uh, the number one uh, dribbler in the Premier League was Kudus with 124. Man United's best were Ganacho and Rashford tied on 48. This is Man United, guys. That's how terrible we were. So we were less than half of the, the top dribbler. That's unacceptable. It's not only dribbles and chances created that show creativity. There is also another uh, uh, start, shots on goal. Because by the time you get a chance to shoot at goal, you are creating a goal scoring opportunity. That's another form of creativity. Now, if you go to that, look at that list. When it comes to the list of top 10 players or the top players across the Premier League, who had the most shots, Manchester United still had no one among the top 10. Look at that. We had no one. Um, oh, okay, we had Alejandro Ganacho. Yes, uh, he was there among the top 10. He was ninth with 100. Those are shots, including those that were blocked. Not enough. Because Erling Haaland and Man City had 121. Mo Salah 114. Cole Palmer 109. Dominic Solanke, 109. You can see the numbers the guys above us had. Darwin Nunez, Nunez Bukayo Saka, Oli Watkins, Phil Foden, all these big club players above us. Guys, this was a very, very critical thing for Manchester United to sort as we go into this season. No wonder there are so many people who are feeling like Manchester United needed to bring in more creative players and especially in the wide options. That's why if you do recall, among the first players Man United was linked with was 
a winger that is Michael Olise, who eventually joined Bayern. Now, this season, do we, do we feel like we've sorted this? I think we've moved a lot in terms of solving it. Look at it. And don't, I, I, I've intentionally not included the players who play behind the defenders and what. We've spoken about the defense, I think, long enough. At least we've signed players who we believe are going to improve that defense. We're just waiting for and hoping for a number six to come in and help them, uh, shield them. But when it comes to these creative players, the first thing that I want to think we've improved in terms of trying to push us to have more chances created or to have more creativity in the team is the fact that we have galvanized the back line and we are hoping to bring in a number six. Now, what that does is it releases all these players who have got attacking instincts or who have got the abilities to create chances because creating chances is mostly about your ability to be comfortable on the ball and use it to beat off bodies and find spaces and exploit them. Now, Bruno is good at that. Bruno is, I think, probably the most bold player. It's no wonder he has created the most chances in the Premier League because he's bold. He will keep doing the same thing. If it fails, he will do it again. Ganacho has a bit of that, but he's just immature with how he does it. Bruno will try to take an impossible, make an, play an impossible pass and no look. You saw the goal, the assist he gave to uh, Gana, uh, to, to Kobe Maino for the FA Cup uh, winning goal. He is that kind of player who, who is not afraid to take risks. Now, if you're going to create chances, you've got to be able to have that confidence to take risks because eventually something will pay off. Something will give in if you keep trying. So Bruno, I, I don't think I'd even need to talk a lot about him and what he can do in that final third. Yet he also had to track back and try, sometimes play defense for the most part of the season because of the issues we had, we had defensive, defensively. So give him his flowers. Now, Kobe Maino, I believe whatever Bruno can do, Kobe can even do, can do. But is this the season where he will, have, will he be able to express himself? Yes, because the back line is better. And instead of trying to think about going back a lot to try and cover the back line, it will be trusted enough for him to think more going forward because it gives us more value there. He can, with the ball on his feet, Kobe can put off four or five main. Classic example is that winning goal against Wolves, if you do recall. So that's what he can do. Ganacho keeps doing it. That's why he had many shots on goal, always getting himself in those positions because whenever he gets the ball, first instinct is to come and dribble, go at his man and try to beat him. Dribble go at the man try to beat him the only undoing for him why he did not create enough chances was because of his naivety because of his immaturity making the wrong decisions that's why he has so many shots but they yielded nothing because with the shots he had 100 he should have had more assists out of those 100 shots but he was just uh, playing mostly blocked shots shots or shots that were not supposed to be shots uh, where he should have perhaps tried to pass the ball he's going for a shot but you feel just in the few minutes we've seen him in the community shield that maybe this has been worked on to improve him so that's more creativity talk about and 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 ganacho also won't have to worry a lot about tracking back to run back and try to 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 to, to cover uh, in defense joshua zakzi is a ball user that is more creativity because of his style alone of how he plays football. He loves to use the ball and he knows how to use the ball when it's on his feet. Uh, so he will, he, needs a he will need the spaces. And I'll talk about spaces in a bit. Ahmad Diallo on the right, also same thing. He gets the ball, loves to drop back, carries the ball, better at playing short, short passes than trying to take, to take on people and involving everyone into play, cutting in. And that's why in whichever system Eric Ten Hag will want to play, especially if he's going to have Ahmad in, and Joshua Zak is playing, Eric Ten Hag has got to create room for, this, for these players to use the ball because they want to be on the ball. So if he does, he, if he puts Bruno here, for example, and he plays with a 10 and perhaps have a 4-2 and then another holding midfielder here, it is going to limit the mobility of these two because they love to be on the ball, they love to get back in, so there will be collisions in there. So my thinking is Eric Ten Hag will have to bring the best out of these players. He will have to play a style that allows them space, that this space can be attacked by any of these players individually. And that's why you, leave, you give players freedom. Over time, they will learn the, their patterns. So you give players freedom to come into this space and use the ball because you, you express, they express themselves from here because they all can. Bruno can go there. Uh, uh, Kobe can go there. Ahmad loves to cut inside with his left. When he cuts inside, that space is there. Bruno can, 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 can go wide. 
or uh, when Joshua Zakzi cuts in, cuts in back or uh, drops in back to get the ball, uh, someone else, Ahmad can go, you know, false there as a false nine. Bruno can move there. Kobe can move. So create those patterns, those puzzles, and that's going to be the strength for Man United. That mobility, the strength of any team, the width of this pitch is a 68 uh, 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 meters. Uh, uh, meters. That's, that's a long distance. You need players to be free and mobile. But for players to be mobile, they need to be able to use the ball. Carl Ancelotti spoke about it so well in his interview with uh, Obi Mikel, talking about how he doesn't think uh, having Rodrigo and, uh, Kant, uh, and Mbappe and you know, all these players, Jude Bellingham and what have you, will be a problem because the pitch is wide and they all can use the ball. So just give them the freedom to move. Now, United before could not give players freedom because most of our players were one-trick ponies, or rather players who, who shine only in limited positions. But with this attack, we've got players who can form all forms of puzzles and create problems to any opponent. And trust you me, Man United is going to be more sharp up front, more chances created, more goals, more opportunities for goals. Now, drop in Hoyland here, put off anyone, Zaxi or whoever, or Ahmad and put Zaxi wide because he can play there. Because of how we play and how many chances we can create, trust you me, there is no way Hoyland is not going to score more goals because this is going to be a creativity galore for Man United. So that's for me. And now when I hear people saying, remember on the bench we've got Anthony, we've got uh, 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 Marcus Rashford. So when I hear people complain about Man United and want having to sign another winger and stuff, I'm thinking, no, we need to first have the template work because these players can form for us the right template and we shall be able to see where the weak link is and it will be easy for Eric Ten Hag to sort it. So that's my uh, uh, take on our, on our attack. So uh, I expect Man United to be, a more, to be more expressive, more fun, more animated, more puzzling, more difficult. And we see with that mobility, they will be keeping defense, defenses there. So again, bringing through the old football adage that the best way to defend is to attack. United is going to ball. Trust you me. My name is Webb. This is the Net Sport. Subscribe, like, and I'll catch you later.